Hello YouTube, welcome to the second part in my Notes app series. In this series we are building a Notes app in Jetpack Compose. In the last video we created our room database, our application class and also our note model. In this video we will be creating our Notes DAO and also our Notes view model. Before we get started we just need to double check some things in the manifest. So in the Android manifest we want to make sure we have this name field here and it should be our photo notes app which is the application class that we created in the last video and we also want the screen orientation of our main activity to be portrait and this is because we do not want to handle um, notes in landscape mode so now let's get started on the notes DAO so we need to firstly annotate this with at DAO and this is just telling Room that this is a DAO object which we can use as an interface to interact with our DB. The first method will be a method to retrieve a note by its ID. In this query, we'll select star from notes where notes dot id is equal to the id that we pass in the function and this will be a suspend function called get note by id and this will take an id as a parameter which will be an int and this will return a note and it could be nullable as the note may not be in our db let's just run these imports here The next query will be a function to select all of our notes and that will be query select star from notes and then order by data updated we want that to be descending. And this means we will get the newest notes at the top of the list. This function will be called get notes and will return live data. And this will be observed in our composable. And that means whenever a note is updated in our DB, that composable will update and show the new state of our notes table. And this will contain a list of notes. So the next function will be for deleting a note. This will be called delete note. It will take a single note as the parameter and won't return anything. That is all we need for deleting a note. The next function will be for updating. So if we change any values from the note, such as the title or the body, we will use this function. And that will be called update note. And we'll just take a note. And the final function in this class will be for inserting a note which will just be called insert note and we'll again take a note as a parameter. So that's it for our notes DAO. We can now move on to the notes view model. For a notes view model, I'm going to create a new class in our root directory and this will be a copying class called notes view model. Normally you would have one view model per each page of your app but in this case, we're just going to use one as we're not going to have a large amount of methods in our view model. This class will extend view model and the constructor will take a parameter, which will be the notes DAO. And that will be private uh, DB notes DAO. And underneath this class, we need to create a view model factory. And this is a class that will provide our view model to our activity. So class notes view model factory. This will take one parameter, which will be the DB. This will extend view model provider. 
dot new instance factory. We open the class body and now we can override the onCreate method by pressing Ctrl and O and then selecting this class here. And what we want to return is the notes view model. Provide the DB. And as type T. Now we can start on the methods of values in our view model. So first we are going to declare a live data value for our notes DB. This will be called notes and it'll be of type live data. And that will just return the live data of our notes, which we set up in our DAO. And it'll be live data list of notes. So list notes. Next, we need a function for deleting the note. So take a note. And inside this function, we are going to launch a coroutine using view model scope. So view model scope, launch, and then we need to provide a dispatcher, which will be dispatchers.io. And then we can call db.delete note and pass in the note. So there's a few things going on here. The view model scope dot launch, essentially what this means is this is going to launch a coroutine, which will be bound to the life cycle of this view model. So when this view model is cleared, any work that is happening inside the coroutine will also be cleared. We need to run our D methods within the coroutine um, as the room database cannot be accessed on the main thread without allowing main thread queries. If you do allow main thread queries, that could potentially freeze the UI. So as we're using room on a background thread, we need to use a coroutine. The next function is going to be for updating the note, and this will be very similar. In fact, we could just copy and paste this function, and change a few, a few things. So update note, we'll still take the note as a parameter, but we'll be calling db.update note. And then we have the create note function. This will take a title, which will be a string, a note, which will be a string, an image, which will be a nullable string, as we may not have an image. Using those values, we can then create a note. The title will be title. We won't provide an ID as that will be automatically generated. And the image URI, we don't need to provide um, the date updated as that will be created when we create the note. So now that note has been created, we can launch another coroutine. and then call the function insert note, and then pass the note. And that is it for the view model class. We'll end this video here, and I'll see you in the next one. If you have any questions, please post them down in the comments. Please like the video, and please subscribe.